Now, in this first part of the question, we're asked to use the binomial expansion to find the first four terms in the expansion of 1 minus 2x to the power 5. Now, to do this, using the binomial expansion, you have a choice of two formulas. Now, what I'll show you in this video is how we can use each one to arrive at the answer. Now, in the first one, this is the one I would prefer to use, I must admit, for this particular question because we've got a 1 at the front here, just like we've got here. And if you use this formula, 1 plus a to the power n is identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 a squared over 2 factorial plus n n minus 1 times n minus 2 a cubed over 3 factorial and so on. So if I'm going to use that formula, you can see that the a is minus 2x. So you've got to be careful there. It's minus 2x, not 2x. And the power n is 5. So using that formula up here then, what we'll get is 1 plus n times a. So that would be 5 times a, which is minus 2x. And then it's plus n, n minus 1. So that would be 5 times 4, n, n minus 1, over 2 factorial. Now 2 factorial is 2 times 1. And I must admit, I always prefer to expand these. Then it's times a squared, a being minus 2x. Make sure you put minus 2x in brackets, and then that's the power 2. So, so far we've got one, two, three terms. We need four terms, so we'll do another one. So, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. So, that's going to be 5 times 4 times 3. Then that's over 3 factorial. So, I'm going to write 3 times 2 times 1. And then it's a cubed, a being the minus 2x. So, we've got minus 2x all cubed. Don't forget, though, to put plus and so on, right, on the end. So all we need to do now is just tidy this up. So we've got 1, and then we've got minus 10x. And when we get to this term, the reason why I like to expand the factorials is because quite often you can cancel. It saves a little bit of work, like here. 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 4 goes 2. And over here you can cancel. 3 into 3 goes 1, 3 into that 3 goes 1. And you can do 2 into 2 goes 1, and 2 into 4 goes 2. So it kind of reduces your workload. OK, so what have we got for this term? We've got minus 2x all squared, which is 4x squared, times 10. So what you're going to get is plus 40x squared. And next term, will be a negative term because this is going to be a minus cubed, so that's negative. And we've got the 2x all cubed, that's 8x cubed, times by 10 here, so that's going to be 80x cubed. And then we've got, and so on. All right. So we've got our first four terms in the binomial expansion. Now, I did say that we could do it by this formula, so let's try it again. We've got 1 minus 2x to the power 5. So you can only use this formula if n is a positive integer. Well, it is, so we can go ahead. n is going to be 5. Now, in this one, we've got a is 1, and the b is minus 2x. And so, using this version, we've got nc0, so that's going to be 5c0. And then we've got a to the power n, so that's going to be 1 to the power 5. And then we've got b to the power 0, so that's minus 2x, all to the power 0. Moving on to the next term, it's plus nc1, so it's going to be 5c1. Then we've got a to the power n minus 1. So we reduce the power. 
and then we increase the other power on the minus 2x, the b term. So that's minus 2x to the power 1. So we've got two terms so far. Third term, 5c2. Reduce the power on the 1, so it's down to 3. And increase the power on the b term. Minus 2x then to the power 2. One more to go. 5c3. 1 to the power 4 and minus 2x all to the power 3 and don't forget to put and so on. Now 5c0 what's that? Well you can use your calculator to work out 5c0 and you should find you get 1. 1 to the power 5 is 1. Minus 2x to the power 0 is 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1 so all of this is 1. On your calculator you'll see this is 5c1 comes out at 5. And so if you work this out you just simply get minus 5 times the minus 2x which is minus 10x. So you can see that we're starting to generate these terms. So I'll leave it up to you to try out these last two terms on your calculator and you should find that you get 40x squared and minus 80x cubed plus and so on. Okay well hopefully you've been able to follow my methods here and that brings us to the end of the first part then of this question.